the hills are alive with the sound of fishies. All the way down south in California at Backyard Aquatics. Came out here to check out all the pond work, all the garden work, and the fish room. Uh, I'll, be, I'll wander around and show you get some shots and stuff from the fish room and from these ponds and stuff. Um, you know, I'll be doing a bit of the voiceover, but check out Carlos in the intro here. My backyard aquatics intro? Yeah. Uh, what kind of intro is that? Right, whatever you like. Talk about your channel or at least, you know, what you do. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Put me on the spot now. Yes. Uh, really what we do here is uh, try to breed a lot of quarry cats. Um, kind of into live birds, it's just kind of whatever is we're into at the time. Uh, a lot of pluckos, corydoras, uh, I'm really into pencil fish right now. I'm trying to get a hold of a lot of uh, paradise and, uh, and uh, labyrinth type fish, betas. doesn't have anything yet. The one over there has uh, uh, Praycox rainbows. Um, there's some sore tails on the bottom. Leave what kind of hooks are these? Uh, these are just from like the hydroponic store. Oh really? Yeah they're like it's really like right around like a dollar a gallon or something like that. And what are these hold? Uh, these are 75. Okay. That's a rad footprint for 75 bucks. That's so much important. <laughs> oh, I did it! <laughs> You could like put these in the ground and have like tiny, you could do all kinds of like pond plants. Yeah. Oh yeah. How much were these? Uh, I think they're about a dollar a gallon roughly. Like a hundred bucks. So, so these, these are, are 75, yeah, so they're 75 around 75, bucks. 80 bucks, oh, okay. something like that. And they're four foot square, it's just... Yeah. I even thought like if you ever... You need to build like sumps or something out of these, I don't even know. Like I actually thought about if we stopped doing the garden, oh. that I would just put them like in yeah. the raised beds in the garden. Yeah. Like actually take the dirt out and dump them in there. dogs that's all we do around here yeah no um well i guess it started when i was nine really i mean i started keeping fish and then once i got into it i got lucky actually a couple of the guys that i uh I used to work for a little uh, lfs and then they kind of took me under and started showing me stuff so when i was around 15 i was already going to wholesalers and vendors and helping pick out fish and it just kind of escalated to there. Um, started working at uh, a pet co, and we actually used to, uh, as far as I know, we were the, one of the only two pet co's in the country that was allowed to transship corals. Um, and when I was there, it's actually where I met my wife, and then 
Like we, we used to do a lot of boxes. We used to our my normal uh, shipments at that time were 22 boxes of fish a week right. out of Petco. That's so, a lot. Yeah, that's that was a huge amount. Um, I mean, we were kind of like when that store started, it was kind of like the the trial and error. Uh, they were, we would train all the people. So I actually used to train all the people in the Bay Area for the aquatics departments and show them how to run the equipment and all that. And then uh, from there, we basically, uh, uh, my wife and I just kept fish. I had like 10 tanks in the bedroom for a while and uh, got into it again years later because we moved a few times and then it just kind of escalated to what it is now. I actually have always kept fish, I've just never bred fish and up until about three years ago really, really got into like specifically like trying to breed stuff. So. This one. That's gonna be for the pipe fish that we have. So this is yeah, this is gonna be for pipe fish eventually. Nice. That's the plan. Those pipe fish are freaking cool, man. So <laughs> this Kitchen is, pipe fish. Yeah. The so the the idea is this was actually gonna be my seasonal tank. So this was gonna be basically like every six months I was just gonna rotate it to different fish. Yeah. So right now I think we're looking at pipe fish. If not, then I'll go to either like price and betas or something like that. And then every six months, the idea is just to change it out. Right now, I'm just collecting puppy teeth. <laughs> is that what that was? Yeah, puppy yeah. teeth. Are you guys going to get a Puppy picture? teeth. Thanks for coming along and checking out Backyard Aquatics with us here. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the other buttons. Hit all them goofy buttons. All right.
Later.